so this is my get ready with me natural eye look was requested by a few of you so I actually decided to go ahead and do that but then I thought why not add in a few new products that I got for fun this was a free sample I got I've never tried it it's benefits gimme brow and I guess it's a brow volumizing fiber gel which you guys know I love the brow mascaras and stuff so I'm excited to give it a shot um she gave it to me in the color three oh look how cute it is it's so little I like it okay also we are going to try out some new magnetic lashes I'll talk more about those when we get to it that's what we're trying new for today so let's get started with the benefit brows Ooh, I'm absolutely loving how small it is because I feel like I really am getting in there to all these little hairs because I have a lot of hair actually, but a lot of them are just kind of invisible because they're so light colored, blonde, some are even white. I have a, I have a variety of shades. So this is nice. And I feel like with the little brush, you can get it a little more precise. With my other brush, I kind of just slap it on and go back and fix it. So with this one, if you just take a few extra seconds, and it looks so natural because it's just my regular brows. And I feel like even if you don't have a lot of brow hair, you can just do light little strokes on your skin. And it'll give that appearance. Because see right there, I don't have like any hair right there. And I'm just lightly brushing it on my skin. And see, so you get the brow um, hair look without actually having any hair right there. And since this is going to be more of a natural glam, I'm not going to actually fill in my eyebrows for this one. I'm just going to just use the mascara. Also, I'm just curious to see how good it's going to look on its own, you know, just with this. Well, I can tell you I already like it. It looks really natural. It looks really pretty. I do like it. So let's, let's catch up. I'm going to Vegas here. Um, actually, when you guys see this, I'll be in Vegas already. <laughs> so that's going to be exciting. Um, I'm pretty much all packed. Uh, only bad news is I'm having this really sharp pain in my lower abdomen. Aunt Flo is also here for her visit. So, I mean, I'm hoping it's just like really extreme pain. Now I'm just using some eye cream, my CeraVe. I went to Rotter Aerobics all last week and that was really good. Everything, it felt good. Like I feel a little more fit and everything, which is good. Let's do our natural eye. I'm gonna use the Morphe 350 Nature Glow Palette for my entire eye today because it's a perfect palette for a natural eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and first use the white color up here at the top and I'm going to, um, put it underneath my eyebrows just to kind of make them pop a little more, make them stand out. I do this with like any eye look. I just think it makes the brows look better. It just makes the overall eye look, look better. I just put a little bit in the tear duct cause we're going to do, um, some work there later. So we don't want to, you're just going to literally be covering up the work that you're doing if you do a lot of stuff. So there you go. I know it's kind of harsh right now, but we'll be blending it out later. Real techniques, just like fluffy brush like this, something a little fluffier that you might have. And we're going to go in with this color right here. And that is going to be our transition shade and just kind of give us a natural looking eye. And we're just going to go up above the crease close and kind of barely touching the white as well and just little back and forth motions in other news my closet is finally organized so i will be doing a closet tour soon um my closet isn't the nicest closet out there but i mean i love it <laughs> it's full of my favorite things now that it's finally organized it looks a lot 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 better than it used to now i'm just going to use an angled brush and use that same color that we were just using and put it on my under eye here i watched this really good lifetime movie actually yesterday um me and jeff did it was called i think sinister surrogate and it's a new one 2018 i always love lifetime movies they're always like trashy and crazy but they're always so good and even if they're not that good, they're still pretty good, I feel like. So, uh, if you haven't seen it, I would definitely check it out. What I'm loving now is that Lifetime's putting a lot of their movies on demand, so you can watch them, like, right away. To deepen up the crease a little bit, we're going to use that color that's right next to the one we were just working with. And we're going to use a more tapered crease brush now, and we're going to put it 
just above our crease and kind of into the crease a little bit and see it gives us that darker look so anyways it was just uh one of those crazy stories you know you can probably tell by the name already like what's gonna happen uh, you know life to movies are always good though i think and i didn't watch them for a few years because i felt like i was watching the same one over and over again you know and uh but i feel like now they're making new ones all the time like i see 2018 new movie like constantly so they're making a lot more movies now i feel like which is awesome because i do love them so there we go we got all that using the color that is right here below the white and i'm just going to use a fluffier more precise crease brush and just kind of blend right over the white mostly and then whatever kind of falls into that brown and that like that's fine but we want to mute the white a little bit it's time for the cut crease part i'm going to use my tart shape tape in the color light and if you saw my last one you already know what's coming we're going to put it on our actual lid look up look over and then you're transferring that concealer up to where your lid should be if you didn't have a hooded lid and then even if you um don't have a hooded lid and if you have a hard time figuring out where you should start and stop your crease this is a good tip for you also because it'll just be a guide then of where you should put the crease so then wherever this top part is that's the top of your little crease your hooded cut crease with a flat tip brush just kind of pat out the concealer smooth it out and create my little cut crease okay so now we got that you're gonna use that same color we used to blend out and use your same brush and you're gonna go right over that color we just the concealer we just did and that kind of is gonna set the concealer and give you of course your eyeshadow color there I feel like it gets easier the more you do it I feel like I have already gotten better the more I've done this cut crease the first few times I feel like it took me a lot longer but now that I've done it um, a number of times already it's just a lot easier so keep with it if you're having a little bit of trouble and now with a little more precise brush I'm gonna use that same darker color that we were working with from the morphe palette and I'm gonna just kind of go right along the top of that cut crease and just add a little more depth and just really lightly see then you just add a little more depth we don't need to go crazy Ooh, ooh. okay now that all that is set I'm going to take that same darker color again and we're going to use the same brush and we're going to just brush a little bit of that color along the edges here just so you can get kind of a blend between the lighter color and the darker color and I'm going to use that first dark color that we were using right here and I'm going to blend some of that also about midway over I'm liking it obviously it's all going to look better once we get all the makeup done so let's keep going now once I get my eyes done what I like to do is on my aloe vera for my primer I needed some more so I bought some more for the trip in a travel size and this lasts me so long like this huge bottle that I just literally I need to throw away just because I've had it for like two years already I'm sure it's probably like gross by now um you can still see like a little less than half is still there so this is going to last me a long time still even though it is small actually has 100% aloe vera gel this is just one that I got at um Fred Meyer which I know in a lot of your guys's area is called Kroger so I just got it in the travel section there because I was like oh I don't want to bring my big huge aloe vera to my trip you know because I already have so much room being taken up with all my clothes so and I like I said I needed some aloe vera anyway so I was like well I might as well just get a new one and get a travel size and just start using that and uh Oh yeah, I gotta tell the difference. <laughs> Don't keep your aloe vera too long yet, ladies. <laughs> I can already tell that it feels like it's closing my pores better because the other one obviously just was older. And the fact that it's actually 100%, my other one was basically 100, it was um, 99.5, but 
that extra 0.5. <laughs> I'm gonna actually, since we are doing natural face, I'm gonna use my La Roche Posé. This has like not, it has a very light tint to it. So if you're looking for something with just a little bit of coverage, this is perfect. And it's great for people like me who have sensitive skin, who have redness to their skin, because it still provides a little bit of a coverage without going full spectrum. And it's SPF 50 broad spectrum. Okay, so there you go. See, it just gave me a little bit of a coverage. We're not, it's not crazy, just a little coverage. Now I'm gonna use some concealer and I am going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the color light. I'm gonna go under the eye, put some stuff there, and I'm going to actually buff this in with my finger. And I noticed, like I've talked about in other videos, when I do it this way, I don't use as much product. So literally this is just one swipe and it's gonna cover all of the areas that I wanna cover where normally I have to do at least two to cover the same amount. So saving products, also saving our money for clothes. <laughs> what really matters? Or bills, whatever. <laughs> I just used my trusty Laura Mercier setting powder. It's my favorite because I don't feel like you get um, a white cast, which I know some can do that. And that's not a good look, especially when you do photos and you have like that flashback. And now we're going to use, it's a Real Techniques Multitasker Cheek Brush, and I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer, as always. Love, I still need to get a new bronzer. I know I asked you guys a couple Get Ready With Me's ago, and I just haven't took the plunge to get one yet. Um, I guess I've just been spending a little, a lot of money on clothes, so I have to kind of just be a little mindful of not getting too much new makeup but i definitely wanted to get something new to show you guys for this and i want to try it anyways for myself so i thought perfect opportunity when we go to vegas i was thinking we might be cool to go to the ice bar that they have there so we might do that i don't know we'll see and um I mean, there's just so many fun things to do in Vegas. That's what's cool. Like, even though we have kids coming with us, I love going to Vegas even when I was a kid because there's a lot of, like, kid-friendly things to do still. And I'm not, like, a huge gambler, so it doesn't bother me to not gamble a lot. Plus, me and Jeff could always go and gamble if we want to, so whatever. Multitasker face brush, and I just use the bigger side to kind of stick to the apple of my cheek, and then the smaller side I have kind of go back so I get a little color going back. That's something I always do, and I don't think I've really pointed that out so I'm pointing it out now <laughs> and uh, so then the, the more of the color just stays up here on the apple of the cheek but I don't mind a little bit of it going back farther on the cheek as well so yes and now I'm going to use my Too Faced Candlelight it's my favorite for a more natural highlight and I get it in rosy glow it lasts so long though it's probably high time for me to throw it away let's see yep about time for me to throw it away and you could pack it on if you want it to be more dramatic but we are doing a little more natural so i'm not going to pack it on too much okay here i go i can't help it oh my gosh when it comes to highlighter <laughs> got problems you guys so i'm gonna use that same brush we used to put on the translucent powder and now i'm just going to lightly dust on my forehead just to kind of blend out that bronzer and on my nose cupid's bow chin dust off the under eye and put it underneath my bronzer a little. Same on this side. But I feel like, I feel like doing this kind of just gives a more seamless look. And now that our whole face makeup's done, I'm gonna use my Mario Benescu, the green tea aloe. That setting, I'm gonna put on some chapstick, just good old Burt's Bees. I, as you guys know, chapstick is my number one thing to do. Whether or not I'm gonna put, uh, color on my lips that day I always like to at least put chapstick on just to hydrate these puppies because I am a mouth breather <laughs> and I feel like they get chapped super easy I'm gonna use the L'Oreal double extend mascara and I'm gonna put this on my eyes so I'll be right back once I get it on here's my lashes after step one using the white side Okay, since I am going to do a more natural look, I am going to just line my natural color of my lips. And I'm going to use the NYX lip pencil in the color bronze. 
and I'm just gonna line these little bad boys up. There we go, lips are lined. Now for the exciting part to try out the Eyler Lux Magnetic. They are mink effect lashes. They look really pretty and they come in this nice packaging. So I'm excited. Let's open it up and see what we think. Oh, and it comes like with the little applicator thing. Okay, cool. So anyways, I was like, when I saw these, I was like, okay, so let me pick up my Ardell's, but let me also pick these up because I want to try them. And it looks like it comes with a little pamphlet here. So maybe it gives us some directions. I never read directions just, but for the sake of giving this a fair trial, let me read them. It does recommend that you put on mascara before these just to give it a better application. So I did that. Um, they're recommending, of course, their brand, but they say any mascara will do. So check. <laughs> and then they say... Take the upper section of the magnetic lash, laid on top of your natural lashes at the outer edge of your eye. It's quite easy to recognize the upper as the magnetics will be behind the lash band. Okay. With the applicator, pick up the lower section of the magnetic lash and place beneath your natural lashes to bring the two magnetics together. That's exactly what I do with my already, um, with the other lashes. That's exactly what I do. I set the top on the top of my lashes and just bring up and under the bottom. So, that's exactly, but then it is kind of nice. I'm going to try the applicator and see if that makes it even easier. All right, Eyler, let's go ahead. And I love that it comes in this case because the Ardell's just come in a normal kind of plastic case, nothing fancy. So this is actually really nice because I feel like I will keep them a lot neater. Already I'm loving that about this. And it tells you right here, right, left, upper, lower. The upper is right here and I'm doing it like they said, keep that on the outer edge of your iris that looks like it's on okay i would say that looks about right i don't know why i'm nervous it's always fun to try something new okay so i'm going to use this thing like how they told me to so you're going to take this little applicator and kind of just pinch the bottom part of the lashes and we're going to just take it under to connect okay I didn't get a perfect connection now let me try it without using the applicator because that's how I'm used to doing it okay there we go um, so I didn't like the applicator, but maybe it's just because I'm already used to doing it with my fingers. Still try the applicator if you're going to get these, I think, and I might try it again, but, um, I'm just so used to, I think, doing it my way now that trying to do it that way, it just feels awkward to me. Okay, here we go. Now let me just brush up my real lashes here on the inner corners because it doesn't go the full length of your lashes. Oh yeah, I like these. I feel like they give, oh yeah, they definitely give more of a up curl look than the Ardell's. They feel a lot softer. The only thing I think I will do since it doesn't go all the way across the lid is I think I would want to put a little bit of um, eyeshadow or eyeliner here just because then I feel like it kind of stands out that there's like, since my r natural lashes haven't really grown in here in the corners as much yet, they're getting there. Um, so there's not really any depth right there. So I would just want to add a little bit of darkness. So I'm going to use my angled brush and put a little bit of shadow right there and see what I think then. I like that better. It is, and you can just use eyeliner, which I probably would normally, but I just wanted to see how it looked with the shadow. And I have a little more of um, lashes on this side <laughs> of the baby ones, so I don't really need much over there. Oh yeah, okay. So first impressions is, I feel like, I mean, I'll have to really look. It's hard to see in the viewfinder here to see kind of how it looks on camera, but looking in my mirror, I feel like it looks really pretty. They're definitely up in attention. It's 
much, much more of a bold look than the Ardell's. So I definitely think if you don't want a super bold look, these aren't for you. <laughs> but if you do, or if you just want to have a bold look in your arsenal, I would get these. Um, now that I feel like the Ardell's have gotten more popular, I feel like more and more brands are going to create their own sets of magnetics. So I'm excited to try more and more in the future. Um, already super excited about these. I still like my Ardell's, don't get me wrong, and I think they are great for everyday look. Um, but this is just something a little more glam. Yeah, keep watching if you wanna see what I'm gonna do with my hair today and what outfit I'm gonna wear for the day. So this is my completed look. I paired this really cute jacket that I got from Old Navy. I love the suede and the blue. I just think it's so cute. And this old shirt I have, it has blue in it. So I just thought that was cute underneath. And then these jeans are from NYDJ Jeans and they're all stretchy. They're actually really comfortable. And I got these in a size 26. The jacket's a 3X. And as you can see, I could zip it if I wanted to, but I like the fit of it where it's just like roomy, but not like too baggy and then the pride and joy of this look at those shoes i'm obsessed <laughs> okay and i obviously decided just to leave my hair down because whatever it's a casual day thank you guys so much for watching this video and remember to just be you bye guys